all clap out. <laughs> and part of that reason, of course, for the military is the faster you are, the harder a target you're going to be to hit. So that idea of something like Simitar whipping around the battlefield, doing its job, fighting the enemy, maybe putting some suppressing fire down, maybe guarding a flank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the Challenge 2 theatre entry standard, uh, what this vehicle will be going to war uh, armoured with, and the uh, vehicles that you see without the armour packs on. Yeah, it's been brought down from ATDU, some of you may have passed the sign for that, Armoured Trials and Development Unit. These are the guys that are in the 80s, late 80s. It's basically a replacement for the 432 armoured personnel carrier, and the idea was um, we call it an APC, Armoured Personnel Carry. Technically, you might call this an IFV, Infantry Fighting Vehicle, because though it carries soldiers in the back, it's got that firepower with a turret on the top. It's uh, more than that for things like BSGs and BRDMs, etc. So that 30mm cannon, it's also on this vehicle. Warriors' role at this point is to deliver the infantry as close to the enemy objective as 